Hello guys and welcome back to another Fan Factory Friday Satisfactory Spotlight. Now today we're checking out one of our Discord moderators, The Lord's Builds, and I must admit, from the get-go, I was feeling a little overwhelmed, especially with us pulling on average 10 to 15 frames per second, and believe me, before the recent update, it was actually pulling half as many frames. But with the thanks of some techniques which we showed off in one of our videos, you can find the link above, we were able to get it to over 40 frames per second, which means we can actually get started. So the Lord's Factory is one which pulls items to it from across the map using conveyor buses and everything he needs is being produced in this monolith with the exception of fuel which is being made over at his fuel generator power plants and I can confirm that he actually uses 81 power plants in total now this is a mixture of the fuel generators and also the coal generators which he nicely um, runs at 100% efficiency, but he can still overclock the miner for the coal in order to produce more coal so that he can actually extend this should he want to. Now with this monolith producing everything, he starts with having the first floor smelting all the ores and the progress obviously goes upwards in tiers to create every item that he needs. What's impressive about this build is not the grand structure of the factory itself, it's cool, but what really hits you in the face is the logistics of the whole operation. So starting from the outside of the monolith, we have the conveyor buses spread out to all the oil nodes on the map as well as other precious uh, resources. And then he draws all these resources in for production. And as they are received at the factory, they are brought below where they are sorted into their given production lines and moved onwards. Now at times the conveyors do look a little messy, but with the amount of conveyors going through here, it's very easy for things to get a little out of hand. But with everything being manufactured into the various items throughout the, the spacious base, they finally arrive in the storage area which in itself is half the size of the building and it also reminds me a lot of the door kind of storage area in Monsters Inc for some reason but I really like the layout and the system and I think the spaghetti conveyor moments really do add to this and surprisingly don't affect my OCD I know crazy mind blown now there are also two more points about the logistics that I really want to cover in this video. So firstly, he's built the inner walls caged by conveyor poles, which I've not seen done before, but is how he manages to ascend and descend all the items throughout the levels without elevators. And it also gives him plenty of space to run the items around to the final conveyor bus which brings all the items into storage just in front of his hub, which is a really nice addition logistically as well, as it allows for quick respawning or easy collection of your items. Now I do want to stress that this is actually an old save and I've probably had this since before the trains were released and I would love to see what he can do with a train system to replace the conveyor buses, but apart from that, I think this has been a great build to run around and play with, so special thanks to the Lord for letting us use his save. Now as always, if you did enjoy this video, please do drop a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to keep up to date with all our weekly satisfactory videos. Also if you do want to join our live streams, be sure to check out my Twitch, the link is below, and if you want to submit your factory go over to the Discord and send me a message. Anyway guys, until next time, thank you so much for watching. Ciao for now.